so hello guys um so today's video is really going to be fun because i am doing something that i really don't know but okay i'm gonna make a story gonna make a very quick story the thing is when i was coming to poland um i really didn't know anything about this country like literally nothing as compared to when a person is going to the u.s or to the uk or to all these countries where there is so much diversity and so much people that have really shared a lot of content online so it's easy to get as much information and also the the language and you know the poly the polish language is not as it's not very popular as compared to english somehow Chinese, French, Spanish. So if a person is going to these countries, somehow they will already have an idea of what they should expect. So expectations, like maybe I'm gonna make another video sometimes um, in the future on what I expected um, versus the reality, like what was in my mind uh, before I came to Poland and what was the reality. The reality. Yeah, so. I came to Poland not knowing anything about the language at all and I was told that the Polish language is very hard, very hard. So just their first impression, you know, every, t every day the first impression is st stands out. So in my head it stuck, so I even got demotivated to try to learn any word like anything from from the language and hence i started learning spanish because also this was um something that we were supposed to do in my university to choose one language and then i i, I opted for for spanish so now i'm learning spanish but as how every day i am living here i am getting this you know um i think it's very easy to learn the language when you are in the country because you have a lot of people and a lot of things to learn from to improve your language and I am not, I, I think I only know English and Swahili. And I, be, before that, I have not been um, experienced, like, or maybe put in a situation where I was learning language by choice. Uh, rather, it was part of my um, school activities. So, you know, if you're learning something that you love, that you really wanted without a push, you literally learn it from the heart. So that is what is happening to me now in Poland. I have not been learning this language fully, fully because I have a uh, time factor or maybe I'm making a lot of excuses. So, yeah, I thought I should make this video for my people out there who are intending to come to Poland anytime soon or any in any time uh, just to give you um, an idea of at least some of the very important words that you need to know when you're coming to Poland. So these are the basic words that you are going to use, you're going to hear frequently. You don't want to be a total stranger and not to be able to understand anything, <laughs> anything. I usually joke to my friend, one of my friends, that there will be a time when there is a very serious announcement that is made in Polish telling people to somehow evacuate and we don't understand the language that is and then we, instead of being going outside because there's something that is happening we'll be going inside because you don't understand anything that that is really weird chesh chesh chesh, chesh. <laughs> chesh. oh my God. well guys uh my polish is not good i'm not even on level a something but I have made an initiative on learning some of the basic word and I'm very proud of myself. But yeah, if I'm not pronouncing it very well, please, if you're out there, you know how to speak this language. Just help me on the description box below. But yeah, so in, if you do that in the description, the comment section, I mean, um, some other people are going to see it. So it's, it's easy that we learn from each other. So I'm going to also write that word here. So the first word is chess. Chesh. Chesh is hello. So yeah, just how you say hi, hello, that is how people say here in Poland. Chesh. 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 Yeah. And then, how do you say goodbye? Oh, yeah, goodbye. 
you say do vizenya do vizenya it's goodbye so usually how do you use this you know you go to grocery store you will hear that when you go to like different places stores post office government offices Usually, it's also, it's also very interesting that in my country, if you're entering to a sh shop, you just say, Baba Habari, or Mambo, or, yeah, Zasubui, Zamchana. But then when you go out, it's not really necessarily, especially if there are other people inside, to say loudly that, Kwaheri! <laughs> that sounds weird. Kwaheri! <laughs> No, we don't say that. But here it's very common that you enter, you don't necessarily say like chest or jindobre. I could hear, like, especially if there are like so many people, jindobre, you just say and people reply. And when you go out now, this is, I have heard a couple of times, even if there are so many people, or even if someone is just serving you, you say kwaheri. You just start say, we only say asante, like thank you. That's it. You don't say tutaonana baadaye au tutaonana kesho au bye bye or anything. You you just say thank you and that's it. But here maybe you can say thank you, but they don't say really like thank you, thank you. They say dovizenya like very very loudly like dovizenya dovizenya and then they reply. So it's like a culture, and I think it's a very nice one. Yeah. So you say goodbye dovizenya. How do you say good morning? You're meeting someone and. You don't want to say church, you say Jin Dobre. Jen Dobre. <laughs> I feel like a language teacher today. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so you say Jin Dobre. Jin Dobre. Good morning. And you can also use that in the afternoon, I guess. Jin Dobre. Jin Dobre. Jin Dobre. Jen Dobre. And how do you say good night? So maybe you're catching an Uber. Instead of saying Jin Dobre, I used to say that even in the evening. And then you find the guy, the Uber guy just keeping quiet. I'm like, am I making a mistake? Then I'm going to my Google Translator and I'm like, oh wow, it's not Jin Dobre. And then yeah, I just keep quiet. But yeah, you just gonna say Dobranov. Dobranosh. Dobranoch. Dobra. Not Dobranos, Dobranoch, yeah, Dobranoch, Dobranoch, and it sounds different. And then there's this interesting utterance of words that Polish people have as compared to it's not very slight, it has this you know, it's not as calm, it's not as loud. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's it's also interesting, like Jin Dobre, Jin Dobre, like, you know. It's different but I always find it interesting as well and then how do you say how are you you want to ask someone how they are doing in their language in Polish you are saying Jack she mash you say yak that's a jack is yak and then how do you say please please is prosh 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 I have heard this also a couple of times especially if like we're in the elevator and there's a guy, usually they you go first, a lady, and so he wants to let you go, or even the, the, when they're opening the door, they will just say brush, and then I, was, I I at first when I heard that I I thought maybe you can go, <laughs> and then I thought maybe um what was my thought about it also, brush like um go fast something like that. But then it didn't make sense. I was like, in English, how do you say, I think, oh my God, this is interesting. How do you say that? Um, I think they just say in English, how, if you wanna, like, maybe you can go, like you just do like, you know, it's just very fast and normal. But he has like, prosh with all the respect, with due respect. So it's like, please, prosh, prosh, prosh. Yeah, so prosh is also, is please. And also you can use it in different ways. Please, please, plush. And then how do you say thank you? This is my favorite word. And I think, no, I have like, I have maybe a couple of them now. And I think I've said that already in another video, but yeah, I think Jin Kuye, Jin Kuye, Jin Kuye is my favorite word. Thank you. So you say thank you, Jin Kuye. So let's say 
now we are meeting someone for the first time how do you gonna say how do you going to interact so i will say church that is just someone who is just passing and then if someone i'm interested like i'm gonna have like a very long conversation with it's gonna be jindobre jindobre or church church jindobre i don't know how that works but if i want to then go deeper and ask them how are you i am going to say jack shemash that is how are you and after the conversation i want to say thank you maybe for the meal or for anything for their kindness i am going to say julie jinkuye jinkuye and then how if they say to you maybe jinkuye how do you say you're welcome like someone say thank you you're welcome I'm gonna say proche barzo. Proche, proche barzo. Proche barzo. You're welcome. Proche barzo. You're welcome. Great. And then how do you say excuse me? I have a story <laughs> about this word. Um, it was very not easy for me to pronounce the word, especially when I am sitting okay, the, in the bus where there are like two seats i am sitting by the window and then there's someone else who is sitting close to the the corridor and then i know i'm dropping in the next state um stop bus stop so i'm like <laughs> i i don't know i usually just before i knew this word how to pronounce it very well um i used to like just look at the person and say psh, psh. <laughs> because i could just hear <laughs> i could just hear like people say psh, psh, psh. i'm like why is this psh, psh. and then I, I didn't know how to type to you know you don't know how the word is written first of all and then you don't know how to like um uh, you don't know how to pronounce so but to my surprise if i say psh, psh, the guy or the person is just standing up and then they let me pass but then slowly i came i don't know when i really came to see the how the word is pronounced and also the actual pronunciation no it is when i met this colleague whose name goes by pshemek so and then i could hear now how it, the word is pronounced is pshepracham so what i did was to first make sure i know how to pronounce this name pshemek and then i learned how to pronounce pshepracham like excuse me that is a very interesting story so yeah so even now to remember this excuse me i usually remember the name first and i'm like psh -psh 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 yeah but then before that i was like psh -psh -psh, and then they would just stand like that yeah and then how do you say see you later you say do zobrachenya really did i write it correctly because uh even if see you i thought you know goodbye dovizenia is also see you that is what i thought please help me i'm stuck so what is see you what is like what is those of bachinia those of those of and how do you pronounce it? Does Obachinya? I don't know. Anyhow, so my very last word for today is Miwo Mi Posniach. Can you guess what that is? It's nice to meet you, guys. It's very nice to meet every one of you today. Miwo Mi Posnyach. Yes, yeah. So if you like more of these videos, learning the polish language on a baby steps like this please comment that down below and if i've made any pronunciation very bad just a disclaimer i am not first of all you can tell i'm not polish and also i am learning it's a continuous development every day and these are the words that i know i know pretty much more than this so this was just for me when i thought you know what let me just help my folks out there so yeah if you want to see more of this video comment that down below and don't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it was very nice today this was a very fun video actually bye bye